How is it going everybody? You're watching Then About Tech, so you have updated your iPhone to iOS 17, but you regret it. You don't want it anymore and you want to go back to iOS 16 to a stable version. Well, that's called downgrading. And in this video, I'm going to teach you how you can downgrade your iPhone from iOS 17 to iOS 16 for free the official way. It's super simple and I'm going to show you step by step. Let's go. First things first, let me show you that I'm actually running iOS 17 on this iPhone. So right here, 17.0 on this iPhone 14 Pro, the purple one, you're going to see that in a second, it'll be running iOS 16. So as you can see, we will need a computer for this process, but don't worry because it doesn't have to be a Mac. You can do it on a Windows PC as well. So any computer that you have, you can do this process, but unfortunately, a computer is needed, it's necessary. If you're doing this process on a PC, you will need to download and install iTunes. So if you don't already have it, make sure to download and install iTunes on your Windows PC. I'll have a direct link in the description. Of course, iTunes is free, it's made by Apple, so everyone can install it, okay? If you're doing this on a Mac, you don't need to install any software, it's all here already, okay? So, after you're done with this part, you can go ahead and open up your favorite browser. I'm using Safari here, but you can use any browser that you want. And you're gonna go ahead and go to this website, which is called IPSW.me, as you can see right there. I've used this website for many, many years, over eight years, and there's a ton of videos here on the channel on this website. You can trust it, it's super safe. And what we're gonna do with this site is actually download iOS. We're going to download iOS 16 straight from this website. This is the best way to do it. Keep in mind that you can use it to downgrade iPads as well. So if you want to, you can follow the same process for your iPad. Okay. So since we're doing for an iPhone, click here on iPhone. If there's an ad, just close it. As you can see, scroll down and we're going to go for iPhone 14 Pro as I just showed you. Okay. Right then we're going to go ahead and download the latest signed IPSW, as you can see right here. It has to be the signed one, the green one with a check mark, as you can see. That's the only one that's signed by Apple and that will work. If you try and go ahead and download any previous versions of iOS 16, it just won't work because it's not signed by Apple. So the only one that you can use is the latest one. So right now it's iOS 16.5. Maybe when you're watching this video, it could be 16.6, 16.7. It doesn't matter. Just make sure that you download the latest green one, as you can see right here. Okay. So click on it and then wait for it to load. Of course, it's all free as well. You can scroll down and then download as you can see right there so download and let it do its thing I'm gonna actually cancel this download because of course I have previously downloaded before just to make things faster for us and that's this file right here so go ahead and make sure to put it in the desktop I just think it's much easier okay so uh, here I have my file and then I can move it to my desktop if I want to make things super easy so I'm moving it right here to the desktop it's just a recommendation and you will understand why in a second okay and you can close it we're done so now we can start the process itself and the first step is right here on your iPhone so go ahead and tap on your settings then tap on your Apple ID right there at the top of the banner and then find my as you can see and then find my iPhone and as you can see you're gonna need to disable find my iPhone because otherwise it just won't work okay so disable find my iPhone as you can see it's gonna ask for your Apple ID password in order to do this go ahead and type it in and then tap on turn off at the top right hand corner let it load let it turn off and then it's gonna take a few seconds as you can see and then you're done okay so you're done here on the iPhone and then that's the part where you plug in your iPhone to your computer so go ahead and get your cable I do recommend that you use an authentic original Apple cable otherwise the process may not work okay so get the cable plug one end to your computer and the other end you're gonna go ahead and plug on your iPhone as you can see right here charging so you know it's working okay this is super important now make sure to leave your iphone like mine unlocked just like that on the home screen unlocked plugged in just like that make sure it's charging as well and then leave it on the desk 
leave it on the table. If you see anything asking for authorization, for to uh, access your accessory, as you can see right here, allow to connect, you can tap on allow and confirm. Uh, this message may be a little bit different depending on your, if you are on a Mac or a PC. So uh, it may ask you to trust as well as you're seeing right here. Go ahead and tap on trust. So go ahead and type in your passcode as well. Any authorization or any approval that it asks, go ahead and make sure to approve. Now, if you're doing this on a Windows PC, you're gonna go ahead and open up iTunes. If you're doing this on a Mac, you're gonna open up Finder. I know those are different apps, but the process is exactly the same. The screens, the buttons, everything is exactly the same. The first thing you're gonna do when you open up the software we're gonna use is find your iPhone. Uh, on the Mac, it's gonna be right here on their locations. On iTunes, it's gonna be a dedicated button that you're seeing on the screen right now, okay? Tap on the device on your iPhone, and then you're gonna see a screen very similar to this. And now, all you have to do is actually go to the Restore button. That's right, and I'm gonna explain you right now because this is super important. Yes, the only way to downgrade from any iOS version, so this applies to iOS 17 going back to 16, what we're doing here requires a restore. You need to restore your iPhone in order to downgrade. And restore, as you probably know, means resetting your iPhone, so erasing your iPhone completely, and this will make you lose all your data. But of course, after the restore process and after we go back to iOS 16, I'm gonna show you how you can recover all your data from a backup. So if you have an iCloud backup or a computer backup, we can recover your data, recover your stuff afterwards, okay? So you won't lose anything. But also, and this is important as well, keep in mind that the only way to actually use a backup after you downgrade is if you have an iOS 16 backup. And this is important, okay? Because since our iPhone is gonna come back from iOS 17 to 16, we're gonna need to have a compatible iOS 16 backup to use. So you gotta make sure that you have backed up your iPhone back in iOS 16 in order to use this backup, okay? This is important, that's why I'm explaining everything before you do the process so you don't lose anything, okay? This is the disclaimer. Now, everything said, everything understood, let's go ahead and begin. And what you're gonna do here is not click on restore iPhone. You're gonna click it while holding a key on your keyboard, okay? If you're doing this on a Mac, the key is option. So hold the option key, and I'm gonna be holding right here. So hold the option key and click on restore iPhone. So that's it. If you're doing this on a PC, the key you're gonna hold on the keyboard is shift, the shift key. So same story, hold the shift key and click on restore at the same time. So we're gonna be pressing and holding on the key and clicking with the mouse, okay? And now you're gonna select iOS 16, this file right here that we have downloaded previously, okay? And of course, since it's in the desktop, just click here on desktop, click on the file on the IPSW file, iOS 16.5. So go ahead and click on open right here. And then it's gonna say your Mac, so your PC, will erase and restore your iPhone to iOS 16.5 and will verify the restore with Apple. Perfect, exactly what we want. So click on restore and then wait. All you have to do now is wait. Let Mac or your PC, so Finder or iTunes, do its thing, as you can see right there. Leave your iPhone on the desk, as I mentioned, with the screen unlocked and on the home screen, as I mentioned as well. Don't do anything, just wait, and I'll be back in a second. Throughout the process, you see on the iPhone a few different screens. Sometimes it'll be the Apple logo, others, it can be a, a cable pointing to a computer, uh, loading icons. As you can see, this may vary, no problem. So all you have to do is wait, let Finder or iTunes do the process. As you can see, it's doing, it's loading. Don't worry, just wait. And so after a few moments, iTunes or Finder will finish the process, but it will still be finishing here on the iPhone, as you can see. So it's not done yet. Don't unplug it yet. Just leave it as it is until it's 100% done. 
and I'll be back as well to show you. And so, as you can see, we've got the hello screen. And when we see the hello screen, it means that we're pretty much done. So we can already go ahead and unplug the iPhone from the computer. The process with the computer is finished, but of course, you're gonna need to go ahead here, swipe up and set up your iPhone. So choose your language and your region and everything like that. And that's where you're gonna actually choose your backup as well. This, as you can imagine, is your typical setup process on your iPhone. So go ahead, go through it. If you have a backup, go ahead and select it. I'm gonna do it on my iPhone as well. And then I'll be back to show you the final time that it did work and that I am in iOS 16. And so setup is done. I'll swipe up. As you can see, all my data is back, all of my apps. They're being downloaded in the background automatically, just like when you always recover from a backup. And of course, if I go here to my settings and then scroll down general and about, as you can see, iOS 16.5, my iPhone 14 Pro, the purple one that I started this video is now back in iOS 16. So that's it. That's the process. That's how you downgrade from iOS 17 to 16 the correct way. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video as usual, guys. Bye-bye.